Hey folks, it's Ryan Reiser here in our training workshop at West Penn. And I want to talk to you today about wire strippers. And uh, there seems to be a bit of dilemma out there on what's, what's the proper thing to use. What do you guys recommend at West Penn? We're using your cable. We want to use your accessories. We want to use the, the tools, obviously. We, we want to use those connectors. So what do we offer? Well, what we offer is two different solutions, okay? Because remember, at the end of the day, it's going to be the customer's choice on what they're most comfortable with. We want to provide options and provide solutions and then maybe give some recommendations, but let them ultimately make the decision on where they're going to strike the order pad and which one they want to consume. Now, what you have here is part number TL-CSST. This is a dedicated wire stripper. Small in size, it fits easy in your pocket or into your tool belt, and it's got a couple razor blades inside. The biggest advantage to the wire stripper itself is whenever you go to the cable and you go to spin it and strip it, it's gonna be consistent every single time. So certain instructions on certain cable, half inch off the jacket, quarter, quarter, that's already set up every single time. So technician wise, that's gonna be more successful. If we have a five wire, we know that we need all five of those cables straight across and all the lengths are the same. That's the biggest advantage. The disadvantage of this one is a lot of people don't understand how to use it. What they do, especially for your smaller cables, is they'll put it on the end of the cable, they'll squeeze it hard because they want to get a good bite, and then they'll spin it like crazy. Well, if you're talking a 26 strand or you're talking a 25 solid, that's a small cable. You squeeze it too hard and you spin it too many times, it's going to keep digging and digging and digging. There's a spring inside, just going to keep digging, and what do you know? You're going to, you're going to clip that center conductor and then you're going to have failures. That's going to lead people to believe that either A, your cable's bad, B, your connector doesn't work, or C, that the tool doesn't work. And it's maybe turning off to our connectors or our accessories to do that. Obviously, we want to do that. Now, if you look at the other option we have, this is part number 24-7371P. This is a little bit more versatile. 99.9% .9 of the technicians out there are going to have some type of wire strips that are already in their tool belt. It's a versatile tool. It's probably one of the things they grab the most. It's got the eyelets on top with the different gauges. It's got the plier function and the cutter function. This is something they're going to use. Now, the advantage of this is that, again, they're going to have it in their pocket, but whenever they're working with the smaller, the miniature cable, it's going to be much harder for them to nick the center conductor. They use the eyelets, and they start. If it's not enough, they go to a smaller eyelet. They strip it, that's not enough, they go to a smaller one, and pretty soon you do five connectors, you do them in a row, it's going to be consistent and it's going to create some sort of habit. All right. So if you look at the pros and cons, consistency every single time, it's smaller, it's recommend, it's going to use for more than one cable, the blades are already inside, which are replaceable, we sell replacement blades for this, but the disadvantage of this one is that if you're not using it correctly, you're going to think that it fails, especially on your miniature type high resolution cable. Then you take a look at your wire strippers. This is not a dedicated. It's much more versatile. It's still going to fit in your pocket. It's much better, we believe, and what we recommend if you're going to use it on a miniature high resolution so you don't clip that center pin, you don't get those failure rates. So again, end of the day, it's the customer's decision. All we're doing is saying we have option A, pros and cons. We have option B, pros and cons. Which one do you want? How many? Let me strike the order.